I'm part of a group working on the renovation of our local library. We're doing a complete overhaul of the infrastructure, including all new network wiring. We want the new wiring to be capable of anything we require of it for at least the next 10, hopefully 15 years. I'd like to get your thoughts on what network wiring we should put in place. Cat 5E, Cat 6, why one versus the other? Any thoughts of what it should be? Uh, guest, just uh, guest 2120. Uh, with no name asking us this in the chat room um, definitely I would go now even though Cat 5 is amazing I mean Category 5 is spectacular mm-hmm. um, Cat 5 is basic Cat, cat 5E means uh, Category 5 enhanced uh, cable so that's uh, twisted pair uh, cable and it travels basically you can get gigabit networking over Cat 5E but um, you have more chance of, of data p- uh, packet loss Cat 6 is a higher grade cable, so it's going to be able to carry the gigabit networking, 1,000 uh, megabits per second, a lot better than the Cat 5 uh, in some scenarios. So, um, so yeah, I would go with, because you're going to be re- rerouting the networking anyways, of course cost is a factor. Cat 6 is a lot more expensive than Cat 5. You can get a whole spool of Cat 5,000 feet for like 80 bucks Canadian, so it's nice and cheap. It's good cable, it's good grade cable, but with Cat 5, if there's any kinks in the line, if it's going by any electrical, uh, that can cause data loss. So you want to watch out for that. Make sure it's a good grade cable, too. I've seen some really, really cheap, crummy Cat5 cable. You want to check the ends, get somebody who knows how to crimp these things to, to double-check the quality of the actual uh, twisted cable and uh, just find out that it's going to be a good cable for you. So, But Cat6 is basically you know, your gigabit networking. Cat5 will work with gigabit networking, but it was designed for uh, 10 over 100. Few clues says get shielded cable. Definitely, any of the any of the relatively good grade cable is going to be uh, shielded twisted pair. So, definitely. If it's not shielded, I mean that's that's dirt cheap cable. You don't want to go there. But what happens if you've got cheap cable is that it's hard to punch down. So you put in the jacks, and and we had this. Uh, I, I wired. You remember when I wired the radio station here in town? Mm-hmm. And it was a big move, and we ran all the cable and everything. Unbelievable bef- job. It was a huge job mm-hmm. before they put in the drywall. So we ran all the cable, mm-hmm. but they provided the cable. They wouldn't let us provide the cable because they had some kind of wholesale deal, deal or something yeah. with somebody. So we used their cable, but then none of the punch downs. Once the cable was run, the drywall was up and everything. So the cables were just hanging out of the the wall, so that the mm-hmm. drywaller could come in and patch around it then we came back in and went to punch down all the ends and they wouldn't punch down because the cable was such a cheap cheap cable yeah. so it was a nightmare we had that's to probably why they got a deal down. yeah exactly so you got to watch out for the quality exactly. of that cable and the person who's going to know that the best is the person who's going to be punching that down uh, because they'll be able to tell if the grade of the cable is uh, going to be good for you 